Hey guys, what is going on? Pickle Power here bringing you episode 12 of our Pokemon Nuzlocke, the very first one we've ever done. So far things are going much better the second time around. We are actually already going into the third badge here, see? Boop, 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 There's a third badge right there. Oh, sorry, we stopped, uh, stopped your kid here, sir. Oh, he's, uh, decided to go the other way. Good choice. So, before we get started, let's go over what we uh, did last episode. In the last episode, we went through and got the second gym badge, as you can see by the number two right here. And then we went through and did all the stuff to get Kabu back in here, and now we're about to go in and beat Kabu. Oh, we also beat Marnie. We kicked her butt again, so that's fun. Well, I guess for the first time. Again, for me, because I've played the game before. But anyway, that gets us to our question of the day. How do you guys feel about the name Pickle Power Power Peeps? You know, everybody's got their, you know, squad, fam, bros, you know, what they call the people who are fans of them and go with them. And you now I'm trying to think a little bit out of the box. It's not that great, but Pickle Power Power Peeps. Kind of rolls off the tongue a little bit there, so. Let me know how you guys feel about that. Without any further ado, let's get into the episode and stop blocking this kid who's trying to go to his pa. Is my team all good though? Are we all healed up? Sweet! Okay, let us go! Slow moving, aren't you, Pickle Power 2? I've already gone and earned my fire badge. That man of fire Kabu is just what you'd expect. Nearly got burnt my battle with him. Even with my strongest team, I was definitely touch and go. It was definitely touch and go, but I still won in the end. That's good to know. Get a shift on, P Pickle Power 2. I bet you could beat the Man of Fire 2, and I will. Hopefully, without losing a single man, as I am severely OP compared to that man. Where is my little friend? Oh. My friend with the uh, lip bug isn't here. That's sad. That That's a no from me. Okay, yeah, let's do this. I'm ready. Okay, let's go change. All right, we're changed. Good to go. Uh, you may find the fire gym's mission a bit different than the others you faced. In you go. Okay. Let us just go demolish these peeps. We don't actually fight the gym trainers. We fight uh, wild Pokemon that we can also catch. But I can't catch since I've already caught my uh, Pokemon for this town already. The gym mission for the fire gym is this. Catching Pokemon to earn the most points. Earn five points to clear the gym mission. In case you are wondering, you'll earn one point by defeating a Pokemon in the tall grass, and two points for catching a Pokemon. But you won't be alone in this competition. Other trainers will be joining you in your battles. Think about what your opponents might do, and try to take uh, and try to take the best action to rack up points. Okay, so let's start. <laughs> last one down quick easy and the next level so attack is plus two special attacks also plus two so gives us a little bit more oomph to our uh, attacks mission clear all right we'll be facing kabu leader next okay let's go beat up a kabu kapu kab this guy We're gonna just mosey on out there and he's gonna give it a little jog. Boop 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 boop. 187. I wonder what the Pokemon letters say. Like, I am not. Oh, is that a shaving thing? Like, razor? I guess it makes sense since he's doing this. That ad on the right there. Right behind me there. It's like razors. Hmm. I should actually probably shave. Getting a little bit bushy for work. Welcome, I am Kabu, the fire gym leader. 
The fact that you are here means you've bested both Milo Grass type and Ness's Water types too. That's quite an accomplishment. Every trainer and Pokemon trains hard in pursuit of victory, but that means your opponent's also working hard to win. In the end, the match is decided by which side is able to unleash their true potential. I like this gym battle floor, like look at this thing. That is just epic, it's like a broken volcano data mine place thing. Challenge by you, got the pimpin' music going. Send out nine tails. Go Squirtmon, I know you can do it, bro. I got this. You got this. Uh Alright, this is my Oh, you're faster. Thank you for not using Will-O-Wisp. Alright, and what? Well, I don't want to waste another. Ah! Uh... Do I have that Rost Berry on you still? Did I put that there? Yes. There we go. Get rid of that thing. Your setup, Mon. Arcanine? No, we're gonna keep Squirtmon in. He's my, uh, he's my go-to powerhouse. You know what? That's fine. That's okay. Because we're gonna do this. Probably just go with this one. And set up the rain, so that when his next Mon comes out, I'm getting a rain hit off on him first. I feel like that's the best move. Let's go big ass Squirty Mon. Squirt, squirt, squirt. Even though you're a war turtle, war turtle, war. Look at the fluffy tail, fluffy ears. Don't flinch, don't flinch. Good. Oh, oh. Waste one turn in the flinch would be real problematic. Good, set up the rain. Now they're gonna do even more damage. Okay, Electmon's level 30, that's good. You do not need to know Roar. Roar is not a good move for you. Sent a Scorch. Keep out current Mon. This is what we're saying, son. Get this over with. All right, now time to turn into a real big, big centipede. Just as long as I'm quicker and the rain helps me out here. Because if you're quicker, he's probably gonna set up a sunny day, in which case that would really suck. Ooh, so large. Fun fact, Centiscorch was the very first uh, uh, Gigantamax potion potion Pokemon I caught during the uh, when the first game first came out oh good I'm quicker Oko oh no 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 Oko good hit though max flutterby we can tank that oh heck yeah we can tank that okay special attack fail that's fine that just means we'll go into this because now that they've both had one fall, this one's more powerful now. I don't think I need a more powerful, but just in case. Alright. Sent to Scorch fainted. Your Nuzlocke is over, sir. Sir by sir. Squirtmon's 33. Squirtmon's just about ready. To be his own Gigantamax. Heck yeah. Mm. Great Pokemon and great trainer. It's no surprise that you won. Thank you. Got some moolah. Raking in the dough. I'm often regarded as the first real roadblock of the gym challenge. And yet you defeated me. Oh, that's not nice. Those other two are strong. Clearly, your talent surpassed my many years of experience, which is weird, because I've been doing this for like, what, a week? I still have much to learn. 
You do, sir. You do. I know, uh, I know now that you and your Pokemon will become a fantastic team. I'm glad I could battle you today. Let me give you a fire badge as proof that you've defeated me. Shake, shake, shake. Shake, shake, shake. Shake my hand. Connection. You can now catch Pokemon up to level 35. Thanks to the uh, Dynamax phenomenon, your Pokemon battles have become part of the Galar region's culture. And it's the young trainers who are responsible for keeping our culture alive. Of course, I hope that instead of just keeping it alive, you also help become something better. We adults will be the pillars for you to build on. Okay. Cool story, bro. Can I go now? Thank you. Pickle power too! I figured that if anyone could do it, you and War Turtle would be the ones, but still! That match had me right at the edge of my seat. Well, thank you. Challenger Pickle Power 2. I see you've done a fine job collecting the gym badges for the grass, water, and fire gems. Please take this TM to commemorate what you accomplished here today. Is it Will O Wisp? I bet it's Will O Wisp. It is Will O Wisp. Stupid Will O Wisp. Nobody needs that in their lives. And now, as you can see here, right, right there, we are at. Three. The user shoots a sinister flame at the target to inflict a burn. And take one of our uniforms that's the same design as Kabu himself wears. Wow, I got a fire uniform. I think you've proven your skill well enough to try your hand against the gyms that await you. Sorry, wow. Against the gyms that await you. Starting in the city of Hammerlock. Head back down into the wild area surrounding the city, then make your way to Hammerlock. Okay. With all the badges we've earned ourselves, I reckon we should be alright even against the fierce Pokemon you find deep in the wild area. Let's go find out our for ourselves. Except for the wild Pokemon that are freaking level 60. They will kill my team, ruin this, and I will be super sad. Super sad. Super Saddin. Super Saddin now. Oh god, let me just go. Ooh. Stop talking to me. Go get beat by bead now, huh? Realize you ain't poop. Bring it up, pick power too. No. Huh? Do, 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 do. You're the gym leader, but you still came all the way to see us off? Oh, I bet you uh, can already tell that I'm the one who'll be the next gym champion, eh? There are many trainers who never manage to gather three gym badges, and they just give up on the gym challenge altogether. So I make a point to see off any trainer who are able to defeat me. Woo, we made it! Thank goodness for flying taxis! Pick up power two! Hop, congratulations! It's pretty amazing you two defeated Kabu. Not a lot of gym challenges are able to get a gym badge from Kabu. We like to get together to see them off as a way to show our support. So, allow me to send you off with a proper sporty chant. Hustle, 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 hop. You can do it, you can do it, pickle power too. The gym leaders you will face ahead are all tough opponents. Oh, this isn't any part of the uh, chant anymore, my bad. But I believe that you will prevail. Believe in your Pokemon and keep pushing on. Thanks, you all. We're gonna keep winning. We've got to do it if we want to face off in the Champion Cup after all. Come on, Pickle Power 2, let's head for Hammerlock. All right, let's go. Let's go, son. Ooh, oh yeah. And we didn't get an encounters here for the first badge, or the second badge, and now the third badge. So we get quite a few little encounters here today. Let's uh, go make them count. Pickle Power 2, Hammerlock is up that way, got it? Yes, sir. And yeah, you could uh, certainly rush straight through without a single detour. But now that I have a few gym badges, we should be able to catch stronger Pokemon. Okay. So, I know what I'm doing. I'll be catching myself some amazing Pokemon to fill in the next page in the tale of my legend. Don't waste your... Uh, it's back with your legend again. Your Bead, beat him please. He's, after Bead beats him, there's no more tale of my legend bull. Don't waste your efforts. It's not like either of you would make it through the gym challenge anyway. The champion really must have been off his rocker to endorse the likes of you. I mean, 
It seems hot here. Can't even throw a Pokeball properly. Bird! Rubbish. More like you don't even know enough to recognize greatness when you see it. My throws are the greatest, and my bro is the finest champion in the world has ever seen. I'm gonna listen to- like I'm gonna- whatever. I'm not listening to you. You're stupid. How tiresome. Fine, I'll battle you here. Okay, battle, battle, go. Yo, just go, go. Leave. Leave me alone. Go battle. I don't care. So the one down there on the right, and then the other one that's got the purple swirlies are the two I'm gonna go for. Why not? Let's just hop on my bike and go to the swirlies one. Ah, this is much nicer than just trying to run. Okay, 300 watts, and we get a dwaddle. 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 <laughs>right as you can see I decided not to go for the big bird what do I have here dusk lure net huh so this is gonna be the best ball to catch this thing because he's both a water and a bug but uh, so I decided not to go for the big guy because I was pretty sure that a dual wing beat could take him out in one uh, one PP so that's what I went for save some time one two Three. We call you Spy Dumbon, and we'll send you to the box. Okay, I'm gonna do a quick cut till I get over to that one now that I talked about. See you in a second. Okay, before we get too far ahead of ourselves here, you can talk to this guy right here. And he will help you upgrade your bike. See, spend my watts or improve my bike. Improve my bike, here. Uh, extra power, can charge up faster, yes. And I'm actually gonna use all of my watts. Oop, no, didn't wanna do that. Use all of my watts to improve my bike now. And hopefully it'll be a little bit better. And that's as much as I can upgrade my bike. So now my bike's as good as it can be. All right, guys. Now we're at our next uh, ne next thing here. See? Meow. Let's see what we get. Poison water. Okay. That was quick. Which is good because it doesn't look like the uh, Pokemon they gave us to help us would have been a lot of help at all. Maybe Sal- no, not even Salazzle. Catch you! And... a net ball! And... We'll cut to the pop. There we go! We got it! We got it! Marini was caught it! We will call you Tentamon because you got like tentacles. Sent a box. All right, now that we're over here, so those are the stairs to go into town. So you just come down this way, and then if you just continue over here, meow. Do not fight him. He is level sixty. He will wreck your day. Meow. Just come down here. Go back this way, and if you. Get this, it's the leftovers. I don't know what level Vikavolt is here. Let's just leave him alone. Another good one from over here is if you come up this way. Still in the same area, come down there. If you just go from there straight up and head up this way and then go over here. Talk to this item. Thunderstone! I hate your zigzag patterns. Yes, here we go, boys. Girls, children, adults, whoever you are, whatever you are, what you identify with, here you go. This is for you. There we go. Beautiful, evolved into Pangoro. Still Pomon. Real big Pomon now. Hey, you wanna learn a move? Night Slash, good. We get a move. You know what? I'm gonna do this then. You know, that's it. This is what we're doing. I'd rather never miss, because 
I'm not fast. Chances are I'm going second anyway. Oh, excuse me. And you know what? I really want to have my, uh, big guy. 38. I didn't know I would go that far. And here we go. Squirtmon's evolving. Sorry, I didn't know we'd get to 38. That was a bit overkill. I thought he would, like, it was only six candies. So I should have, guess, I should have only used four. All right, now we have a Gigantamax Pokemon on our team. Heck yeah. Flash Cannon, okay. Ta-da! Flash Cannon instead. Boom, boy! Okay, and now we're evolving people. I decided I'm just gonna see how many of them I can evolve this episode. So Drummermon is now evolving. Into big Drummermon, Super Saiyan 3 Goku. Heck yeah! Rillaboom! Drum beat. Yep. We'll get rid of some for drum beating. Heck yeah. Let us go Rillaboom. Look at you, you're a big tank of a Tarzan gorilla. Kerchak. You know what? I'm just gonna go through grind candies and stuff for a little while. I will be back when we are about to go into there. See you guys in a second. Hey guys, so going around getting candies and stuff and just doing max raids. Came across my very first uh, Gigantamax this game. So I just thought I'd uh, show you guys quickly. You know, think it, think it'd be kind of fun. I think this one is the one I want to use. So we're going to get Rillaboom and get big and attack this guy. And yeah, that's what we're going to do right now. Hopefully we uh, do it well and... He's a water and a rock, so hopefully this, you know, kills him in one shot. That's only a two-star, but still. Let's see what happens. 234 H. Hey! Yeah, attack the fairy. Ain't nothing you can do to me, especially when I attack you in one, two, three. Ooh. 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 I've, I, I'm not gonna catch him, of course, because we've already caught our Pokemon. But still, I just wanted to show you guys, you know, Dreadnought. Thought you guys would enjoy it. Anyway, that's all for now. See y'all later. Okay, we should have enough candies to evolve the last two here, so let's see. You do need is to evolve and get much, much stronger. There you go. Hippomon evolved into Hippomon! The snazberries taste like snazberries. Now we'll use, say, five of these. Will that get you to 36? Perfect. Drill Peck, okay. Castlemon's evolving. All right, look at this beast. Got a Corviknight, and you want to learn Steel Wing. Yes, we want to let you forget a move for Steel Wing. And ta-da! Got a stab move. Stab Steel, heck yeah. Okay, and we're back, guys. Ah, a gym challenger. Allow me to check your gym badges. The grass badge, the water badge, and the fire badge. It's confirmed that you've defeated three gym leaders, including the leader of the Motostow gym. I wish the best of luck to you in future battles. Hey, look who it is. Oh, it's you. I doubt Hop will be coming. It's only natural <laughs> after such a humiliating defeat. There's no way he could look into the champion and look the champion in the eye. I'm sure he'll withdraw from the challenge. Here, just look at the gym badges I've already won. <laughs> Thank you, Challenger Bead, and I confirm that you require have the required badges anyway. I have a meeting with the chairman, so I must excuse myself. I hate your voice. All right. Anyway, next episode, we will go in there and uh, start off starting off. So until next time, remember to like, subscribe, ring that notification bell. Answer the question of the day down below. Do you guys feel, how do you feel about the name the Pickle Power Power Peeps. I feel like it rolls off the tongue. It's a little bit fun, you know? It's 
better than saying, hey bros, or sup squad. You know, everyone says squad these days. Get rid of the squad. Sure, you're a squad, but like, pickle power power peeps, yo. Anyway, peace out, peeps.